Nice shot. That post from the other day, friends, that was it. I ate it for this. We're staying up. Good morning to you. We're uh, we're off <clears throat> on a little journey today in the in the Mercaroni. Myrtle's it's Myrtle's uh, one of her longest journeys since she's been fixed and 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 looking good. And I've noticed a couple things uh, noises that I just want to make sure. What I've noticed is my clutch now has more play in it. But before we do that, you see this here. Who likes that when they're playing around with tools? Or who likes this down at my feet? Who li who likes that? When you're when you're who likes that? Talk to me about that. Who who's into that? Not you? Okay. You're in luck. Here comes the tip of the day when you run into difficulties like this. I'm going to show you how to pull yourself out of the bite on a situation like this. Watch what I do. Okay? You, you, you got all this here. What, what, what do you do? Yeah, you could just start rolling them up, but you'll have this huge gaping thingamabobberoony. Okay, I'm going to show you what to do. Watch what I do. Pull them up to where you're natural and you can see what's going on like this. Okay, go like this. Pull them out. These have Velcro, but they're not, they're still, it doesn't do anything. You see, it, it doesn't go tight enough. It's still going to be dragging in my heels. I ain't having it. Now, this is what you do. See this? You take it as big as you can. You fold it like this. So it's like like that, right? As tight as you can on the ankle. Shaklank. Get this going like this. So now you've got a tightness there. So now you just grab a hold. Right, friends? And now keep a tight roll going. Just make sure your jeans aren't in there with it. See this? There's one. There's two. There's three. Now guess what? Not going anywhere. See that? It works, friends, trust me. So now they'll just go like that, like a clown, okay? So once again, I know this may sound silly, but you may run into this in your life. You may. Just take up slack, give it one of these, okay? Grab the sucker, start folding. Get my jeans out of the way. Get your jeans out of the way, whatever. Okay, should clank. Grab where it doubles over, start folding. All the way around the back, pull down, pull down again. Go like this, keep it rolling. You can even go one more for security. Talk to me about that. I might even give this one another go, just because it's extra strength. Look at friends, who's your dad? And what time's he off work? Where's he taking holidays? Come on. Oh, I tell you, it's, I'm glad I worked in the haberdashery business for a few years, <laughs> right? So you can even do the same here on the sleeve. I never, this is, friends, I never do stuff like this. I don't wear coveralls. I just throw cardboard down on the ground and away I go. But I'm going away today, not away, I'm going on a little journey. Um, and I just want to make sure that these noises I've been hearing on the truck are kosher. I just want to make sure that everything's right. Um, the clutch was new, so it's probably broke in a bit. Got warm, like brakes do, right? So I just want to go down and maybe just adjust the clutch to, to just to make sure that things are good down there and, and make sure there's no, just check check the pan bolts and stuff. Just everything, yeah, they, they, they loosen off with heat. Let's go down. Now here's another thing, if you don't, if you're not a tool guy like, vice grip garage and you're a buck and billy ray character kind of guy 
just grab a bunch of freaking wrenches that you know are going to help you out down there. Throw them by the tire. Right? Let's go see what happens on our clutch. Fancy dancy little. Hey. Hey, how's it going? This isn't a 4x4, four four, so it's tight. But, see, we got a little drip here. A little bit of nothing. Probably just pan bolts or something, you know. She's looking good. Still all nice and blue and clean. Really clean. Rear main looks good. But our clutch, I just want to make sure. Yeah, this looks really good here, friends. Yeah. I think I've got too much play, friends. I'm, I'm going to take a bit of play out of the... Uh, out of the clutch, okay? There's really not a lot of room here, friends, so I'm just gonna show you, see? The old pin style, see that? So what happens, watch. See, here's the clutch. When you push down, watch. See? This is all play. Whoops, there goes the pin, you see? So if I lengthen this out a bit, okay, see? See this? Take a bit. Boom. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna take some slack out of that, friends, okay? You guys aren't gonna see me. I'm not even gonna bother. It's actually too tight in here. So I'm gonna turn okay. you off. So I wanna show you this. So I'm, I'm, I'm just bear with me because you may run into this. Old trucks are funky like this, but this is how it goes. Okay. You see this this play? Remember when I used to push on that? That's that little bit of play that your clutch has at the top of the pedal before you, like, you know, when you step on your clutch and there's that little bit of like about an inch or two of play before you hit your clutch. This is what this is right here. But through these linkages and up to your pedal, it'll feel like two or three inches up top. So if I wanted to see this, see this adjustment, see it getting wider there at the nut. I can make that less. See that? I'm going to go right there because I just went up and checked it. Now you set it with the set screw there or the set nut there. So I'm just going to tighten these up, friends. And uh, you guys, I don't know if you can, I don't know if you'll see this happen, but I'm just going to put you there and hope for the best somewhere. Uh, maybe through all my photography years of whatever, I think you might be kind of close right about there. Okay. So... Uh, I'm happy with this because that means my clutch is going to be up top, which I won't have to push my clutch right to the floor for it to engage. Make sense, friends? Okay, let's tighten it up. That's it. So now, when I, and now there's no chance of my clutch falling off. When I would say something happened and that could that thing could fall right out of there. So we're good, friends. I'm gonna put you guys out here. There's a vent of some kind right here. I don't know what it is. Hey, hold on. Sorry, friends. Just let me get you guys square. There we go. I don't know what this is. It's gotta be. What is that? Okay. Oh, that looks sick. Like, oh. What is that? Oh, it's Oh, it's a freaking vacuum line. Ha <laughs> ha! For my... Oh, look at that. That's a vacuum line for my uh, uh, cruise control. Ha <laughs> ha! This all looks really good in here. The new binders. Oh, gosh, these guys did a nice job, friends. Like, like really nice. So that'll be a half inch right there. Let's check those bolts out right there. Let's just see. Oh, good. Check the pan bolts. Oh, they look good. Now, uh, you gotta have a core doing this stuff, friends. You gotta have some kind of a core on you. And you're just not gonna get nowhere in life. You gotta have a core. Get your core strong. Keep your core strong. I don't care if it's leg lifts. Just do something. Do something or you're gonna be squandering around like some wounded animal. Don't do it. I, honestly, friends, just, I don't care if you don't work your biceps, triceps, and look all buffed. Have a core on you. It's life. 
Life is the core. The core of the problem is your core. Work the core. It saved me out so badly. My whole core, my whole being was ripped from me. Friends, when I got hit by that tree, my whole, it was gone. It, it, was, it was the worst smashing I've ever had in my life. Of course it was. It was awful. And it, it, it took my whole buttocks off me. Uh, I don't like to swear, but it was, it was the worst ASS smashing I'd ever had in my entire even thought process. It was horrifying. I thought it was over for me. I remember going up to Bear Claws and trying to lift, you know, do the wood again. And, and it was, it was terrible. It was awful. Anyways, we're going. I just wanted to share that little clutch thing with you because a lot of people have old trucks. They don't know these things. It's not that hard in there. Get under there, see how things work. Have somebody sit in the cab, work the clutch for you. Whatever it is. I'm getting my long johns off now. Over and out. Keep on trucking. Decal. Look at that hat, friends. Look at freaking that. Come on. Decal made me that. What a friend, eh? What a guy. He just does something nice for me. He's done so much. So many nice things for this community and this channel and this, this cause. This message. Decal, you're a good man. Anyway. The Merc's going on a little tripskis down the road my wife said she was grabbing something oh oh there it is friends look at look it's rip roaring still hot there's smoke in the sky still but it's very hot still we're going to the river you got your seatbelt on young lady hey friends we uh isn't that a nice shot of the Merc, friends, just up on the dashboard? That's what I love about old vehicles. Look at honey, you get the whole shot there. Yeah. So we're going for a cruise. We're going to the river. Uh, smoky here a bit. Not a, not terrible. But that adjustment you saw me do on the clutch before I left, bang on. Bang on. It's like you don't have to push your foot right to the floor to get clutch. So it, it, it's just good. Oh yeah, it's really nice actually. And you gotta make sure, friends, that you, you've got play on your pedal. Like you put your foot on the pedal and you push and you got at least like an inch or two is nice in these old trucks like that. And then it kicks in. You saw what I showed you underneath there. Like this is like, oh, it's smooth. It's real smooth. And I, uh, what did I do to, to intensify? I bought a solenoid with us because my solenoid's been acting up a little bit. So I brought us some spare solenoid and some wrenches. You never know. Right, bro? Okay, enough talking from you. Uh, Check out my new, uh, my new sound effects for the machine gun, huh? I need to have a machine gun when I need it. I I need it. So I need you to be co-pilot on the machine gun. So all you gotta do is turn okay, the radio on. Okay, Al, with your hat cocked. You gotta turn the radio on. <laughs> so him and Don Hughes back. Friends, quick video. Probably, yeah. Uh, probably just gonna upload it to you. We're up North Island a bit. But anyways, there used to be a bunch of cottonwoods here. We're up visiting my old buddy here and uh, his wife. And there used to be a big bunch of cottonwoods here and they cut them down. And look at here, look, look, look what the effects are of light coming in. See these little bits of epicormic, little 
well they're not even epicormic because they're just they're actually look at that one for instance look at look at that see all those fresh little it never used to get the light, so all you had was crowns in here, but all that is completely new growth from not getting sun before. So there's that one, there's a bunch over there. Even this, see? This is from the sun getting in now, friends. It's just amazing what the sun will do for trees. Um, it's a wonderful place up here. This Here's this new home that they're putting together. And, and uh, yeah, so it's pretty cool. You know, friends, it's, it's pretty cool. I like to see uh, my friend Kim and, and Sandy starting their little thing here. It's wonderful. And it's just beautiful. So live your dream. Don't ever give up on it. Don't ever give up on, on what... Friends, life travels so fast. I mean, gosh, I remember when Hogan and Rita were little teeny kids. You know, and I was... I was going like a banshee. Just going 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 trying to feed the family and pay the mortgage and the warrior years you know you call it, you call it i call it the warrior years now at and then i got smashed at, at 36 and my life changed my life changed drastically actually when i got hit but i came back and carried on like warriors do we're all warriors friends on this journey of life and and it it it's life's not easy friends for 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 some people it might be easy for you and it, and it it maybe was hard for you at once and now it's not hard or maybe it's easy for you now and maybe it'll get hard we don't know we don't know what's coming so that's why living in the moment for me is has been a gift i've learned to just be you know just just be i'm just being so the gratitude for that alone, just just being, is 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 nice. Like I'm, I'm I got my face in the sun right now, uh, and it's just I'm just being. I'm not thinking about bills. I'm not thinking about. It's just I'm just traveling this journey. Uh, really, you know, when you think about it, time just keeps ticking. The train don't stop. So enjoy your moment and enjoy this time of space, the space of time that we have as human beings. Listen to me philosophizing now. But it's true, friends, when you think about it. A lot of people just go along and all of a sudden they're 80 and they, oh, I should have done this, I should have done that. That's not going to be me. I'm not going to do it. I'm, I'm not going to be I should have this and I should have that. I'm going to do the things which I want to do, which may be nothing sometimes, just nothing. Can you do nothing? Anyways, we're leaving here, but it's about two hours to the house. Yeah, so we'll see you then. Be kind.